Say you spend a little while building an armature for school, and it takes days upon days because you got to twist up the wire for his arms. You got to cut the little tubes. These are K and M tubes. Uh, you got to find balsa wood. You got to shave it down. You got to cut it in half. You got to drill out the middle. You got to solder together his hips and his shoulders and his torso. And you're doing your test video, and his arms and legs fall off. Uh, this means that your epoxy wasn't done right and you have to redo it, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I figured I'd record it because I figure somebody else might run into this, and they can watch me try to figure it out and uh, see if they can do it. Sorry about the background. We're working out of a hotel today. Uh, the way I'm going to do this, like I said before, is with my Dremel. I'm going to pick out a fairly small bit. It's not terribly important what kind of bit, as long as you don't set the speed too high. So I'll probably use a metal cutting one. I have a cord operated Dremel because I was too cheap to buy the battery one at the time. So hopefully it'll work. So when you're using a Dremel, um, it stirs up a lot of dust. It doesn't really matter what you're cutting. It's going to make a mess. Uh, if you absolutely must do it inside like I do, make sure that your computers are off and any external hard drives aren't running because if they are, they're going to suck in all the dust and die. So, I wouldn't like that to happen. Alrighty, we're going to start slow. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this, so... You might get to witness me lose an eye or something. Speaking of which, these are a good idea. You gotta be careful, because the bit will actually chew into your K&M tube, and of course the balsa wood, like right there, but it's not very bad. See, I took just a little bit off, it doesn't really matter too much, as long as you don't go really deep in there, because then you're going to have to tear this whole thing apart, and probably rebuild it from scratch. Careful. At this point, I'm going to switch down to a smaller bit because this one's too wide to really get the narrow stuff. Alrighty. See that guy? This bit tapers a bit at the point, which might work in this situation to get the extra epoxy out of that hole. Hopefully. We'll see. Remember, low speed just so you don't accidentally chew up your puppet. Uh, I have mine set on about three, which is this little wheel right here, about three. Okay. What we've done is clear out a fair bit of that old epoxy that was all clogged up in there. And what we're going to 
to do is repeat this process with the hip, which looks a little worse than the shoulder did. And then we're going to retighten down our limbs that fell off. See how the wires have gotten kind of loose? Unlike this part, still pretty tight. These guys are loose. So we'll fix that. And then maybe our puppet will work again. So when you're starting fresh with a single piece of armature wire, this is two twisted together. When you're starting fresh though, you just put both pieces, before they're twisted, into a tap wrench, which is this. Which you can find at any hardware store. Probably not Walmart though. You put them in there, you tighten it down, you close the other side into a vise, like this one, $20 vise. Or clamps are cheaper. You hook that up to a table, in this case a hotel room table, hopefully they won't mind and you twist them down. Since I'm not starting fresh, but repairing a broken arm and leg, I'm going to use these pliers and that vise to slowly and carefully retwist this to make it tight again, to make it fit back in the shoulder and leg joint respectively. And in this case, since we're not starting with new wire, I'm running it out the top because it doesn't really want to hold on on the side. When you're starting with new wire, it's best to run it out the side, crimp it down as hard as you can, and just twist the hell out of it. See, so this is a fairly decent twist job. Coming tight on it. See? It's not overlapping itself, but it's fairly tight throughout. So that one's alright. That's easy to do when you're starting fresh. But we're starting with broken ones. Got to be more careful. You can grab on right here. That's the part connected to that. And just carefully twist. You don't want to crimp it down very hard because if you do, you'll flatten out this part and you'll have to trim it off. And then this arm will be shorter than that arm. See, now it's starting to come loose there. On the device. So I gotta go just a little bit tighter as much as I don't want to. And now we're going to bring it in a little tighter. And keep on twisting. See, this is what putting it in the vise does. It squishes your wires. See? So what we're going to have to do is fix that with the pliers. If we can. Do it by hand. Old school. Because remember, this isn't a completely empty K&M tube that we're going into here. So, let's see if we can stay in focus. I crimped them down as tight as I could, and twisted it as tight as I could. So, top arm left, T-A-L, just may fit back in its joint. Here's the joint. Here's the arm, and voila, she fits. Of course it's not done, because it pop right back out, so we have to spread more epoxy on this guy before we put it back in there. We're going to do the same thing to the leg.